The Core IBR 1100 series device is a compact, ruggedized 3G, 4G, and LTE networking solution engineered for protection against extreme temperature changes, shocks, vibrations, dust, water splash, and transient voltage fluctuations. Ideal for in-vehicle connectivity, this cloud-managed solution provides organizations the ability to scale and manage distributed networks easily. Some features of the Core IBR 1100 series include Cloud management Dual band dual concurrent 801.11 ABG and AC Wi-Fi Certified 3G 4G LTE embedded modems Advanced security The software defined radio supports multiple carriers Active GPS A ruggedized design Built-in transient voltage protection 9 to 36 volt DC voltage input range And ignition sensing Out of the box you get one integrated broadband router a quick start guide, and a GPIO cable. If your configuration does not require a GPIO cable, CradlePoint offers multiple power options to fit your needs. Let's begin with a brief overview of the physical interface. Besides the dual RSMA 2.4 5GHz Wi-Fi antenna connectors, there's also a spot for the main modem antenna, one for the auxiliary modem, and one for the active GPS, all three of which are SMA. On one side you have the power and USB port, plus three Ethernet ports all of which are LAN-WAN switchable. On the reverse side, you will find the RS-232 connector and your power reset button. Press and hold the power button for one second to power the device, five seconds to power off, and 10 seconds to factory reset. Keep in mind a factory reset will clear any changes you have made to the router, excluding firmware updates. To activate either device using a SIM card, a wireless broadband data plan must be added to your CradlePoint Core IBR 1100 series device. Wireless broadband data plans are available from wireless carriers such as Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, EE, and Vodafone. The SIM must be provisioned with the carrier. Please contact your carrier for details regarding selecting a data plan and about the process for provisioning your SIM. Once you have activated the SIM card, Grab a small Phillips screwdriver and start by removing the bottom SIM cover. Now slide the metal latch down to unlock the SIM cartridge. Use the cartridge marked SIM 1 first. Pull the cartridge upwards so it is standing at a 90 degree angle. Insert the SIM card with the metal contacts down and notch out. Press the cartridge back into place. Now return the metal latch to the start position. Finally, replace the bottom SIM cover. Please note that the device will not power on without the cover in place. Due to the diversity of customer needs, antennas are not included in the product package. CradlePoint offers several antenna accessory options, including options for 3G, 4G modems, GPS and Wi-Fi, as well as direct attach, bolt mount, and magnetic mounts. Shown here is the 5-in-1 bolt mount, which includes five separate 3-meter cables with the following. Two 3G 4G modem antennas, two 2.45 GHz Wi-Fi antennas, and one GPS antenna. The GPIO cable includes four wires. Number one is the black ground wire. Number two is the red power wire. Number three is the orange input wire, and number four is the blue output wire. The black ground wire needs to be grounded to the chassis of the vehicle. The red power wire needs to be connected to the battery for constant power. Please also note that the red wire requires a 2.5 amp inline fuse. The orange input wire is connected to the ignition switch. The power and ignition wires can be wired directly or through the vehicle's fuse panel. Another great feature of the Core IBR 1100 series is the GPIO functionality, which can be used for vehicle ignition sensing. When the vehicle is turned off, the router will stay on for the specified length of time and then automatically shut itself off. An example of this would be a police patrol stopping and turning off the vehicle, then continuing to use Wi-Fi connectivity to submit and file a report without having to leave the field. To configure this feature in the router, log in to your admin pages and go to System Settings, GPIO Connector. In the Input Pin section, set the Input Mode to Ignition Sensing then set timeout to the desired number of seconds. Hit apply when you are finished. The Core IBR 1100 series comes with an integrated mounting bracket. 
In this example, we are using self-drilling screws used for sheet metal installations. Here we are using a mounting bracket and rail. When it comes to mounting in vehicles, there are a number of options to consider. Keep in mind that wire connections vary depending on the installation. Make sure to only use connectors rated for use with the wire gauge you are using. Crimp connectors, quick splice connectors, and inline fuse holders are more examples of items you might require depending on your installation.